Windows broke in this Gaza house when Israel bombed a Hamas target across the street. According to Palestinian security sources, Israeli planes hit training bases used by the armed wing of Hamas in Gaza and in Khan Yunis. No one was injured, according to those sources. The raids came after three rockets were reportedly fired into Israel on Wednesday. When we heard from the media that a number of rockets were launched on our occupied land, we expected an Israeli retaliation. Israel targeted Hamas, but the group says it did not fire the rockets. In fact, a small Salafist cell opposed to Hamas, the so-called Omar Brigades, said they fired the rockets. On Twitter, the militants who claim being linked to the Islamic State group wrote, we're continuing with our jihad against the Jews. But Israel says it holds Hamas responsible for any rocket fire from the territory it controls. In southern Israel, hit by militant rocket fire, local officials asked for a stronger military response. We won't agree to this so-called rocket dripping. Hamas has stepped up measures against Islamist groups that want to resume fighting with Israel. On Tuesday, a local Salafist leader was killed in a confrontation with Hamas security officials who came to arrest him.